Kentucky people. It's your boy Jordan and you are watching Kentucky Plant Daddy. Um, I was just going to hop on here and do a transfer from dirt to semi hydroponics video. Um, today's plant is going to be a um, Alocasia Michalitziana or just the regular green Friday. Um, I got this plant on a Facebook purchase um, and I am going to go ahead and cut to some clips of what we're going to do to start transitioning this plant. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will respond to everybody's questions. Okay guys, so this is my new Alocasia fry deck that I bought from Katie on um, a Facebook group. I loved my variegated fry deck so much I wanted to get the green version as well. So it came in this chunky soil mix and we are going to transition it to pond. Um, I am going to do the whole process here with you guys and then we'll monitor how well this allocation does with the transfer throughout a couple weeks. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is just dump this soil out here and kind of see what kind of root system that we have going on. And... The roots actually look pretty good. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be like a real root ball. Um, but I'm going to have to get in here and see what I can do to break up some of this soil. So I'm just kind of like gently pressing and seeing like what will fall off easily. Um, the top of it seems to be falling off pretty easily. It's more like the bottom that's more compact. Um, also, I don't know if we'll find corms in here or not. Um, it's not like a super, super mature plant. So sometimes you will find corms and sometimes you won't. Um, depending on. And basically the goal is to just not upset your root system like the most that you can. So just be as gentle as you can, break up what you can just easily. This is a super chunky mix. So um, everything seems to be falling away pretty easily. But as I get into the core of this plant, it is getting more and more compact. I'm not sure, cause like, honestly, now that I'm running my fingers through this, it seems like it was a plug originally, um, which is fine. Like plugs are fine. It's just like they're harder to get um, free from your roots. Um, so kind of have to get in there. A little bit better and the plug has already kind of like went away if that makes any sense hold on I'll show you what I'm talking about like this little mound of dirt is the plug I just broke it up just to make sure that nothing else was going on with it. Okay, so now that we have this root system, I'm going to put this in the sink and give it a good spray down. Uh, 
Okay guys, so after spraying my roots down, this is what they look like. There's still a little bit of dirt on them. This is okay if you're going to do pond, but if you're strictly going to do LECA, they still need to be cleaner than this. Um, I do a pond and LECA mix, and just for, like, just in case these, I'm going to put the root system down in this hydrogen peroxide and water mix um and this isn't something that you have to do i'm just like doing it just to be extra um and i don't measure anything i just roughly do like two parts water one part hydrogen peroxide and also for like a time uh, frame i could i've just dipped it before i've left it for five minutes ten minutes i would say not to do this more than like 15 minutes, but um, I'm just making sure that my roots are as clean as possible before I transition them into our semi-hydroponic medium. Okay, and while the plant is soaking, um, I'm going to get my mediums here ready in my pot. So this is the ceramic it's going to go to. I think I'm going to initially put it into this clear pot. Um, also brought this clear pot just in case they're similar in size, but, um, and then I have some rinsed LECA, some unrinsed pond, and then just some chunky perlite in case, um, I want to add that. So this is the situation we're looking at. One other thing that I'm going to do just because this plant's new to me and like I trust the seller and everything, but I try to do this to every plant is just shower down the foliage with water and then I'm going to give it a quick spray with this like water and castile soap um, solution. And this is just because, you know, pests are a normal part of houseplant care. So there's no negative connotation for me. Like if this was to come with spider mites or something like that, like everybody's going to deal with pests at some point in time. But um, this plant is coming into my house, into my collection, and if it does have some sort of pest on it, maybe my shower and my little bit of prevention can save me a lot of headache in the future. So I'm just going to spray the back of the foliage down. And then flip it over. Sorry, didn't even get you guys. So yeah, and just kind of let that dry a little bit while we set up our pot. Okay, so here's the pot that we're going to use. I'm going to go ahead and put it down into the cash bow. What I like to do is I like to put a good little base layer of LECA at the bottom. And I find that like with semi-hydro, you know, the water that you put in this is going to wick up and then it's going to kind of like wick up to the pond but um not that i've had like a lot of root rot issues with pond but like it's so f more fine and i think that like um sometimes the plants appreciate a little bit more aeration so i think the leca adds to the aeration so after i have like a little Leca reservoir then i'll add like a small thin layer of pond so then i just kind of mix it up i'm gonna fit this root system down in there just like that
Come on, Ruth. There we go. And then I'm going to just kind of backfill this, um, which is going to be hard to do on camera. Okay. So before I pour kind of like a top layer of pawn and Lekka, I'm just going to make sure the roots are down in here the way that I want and then throw in some of that chunky perlite um, just to add more aeration. The longer that you do house plants, the more important that you will emphasize like aeration of your plant. Um, Cause really what people don't tell you is like root, they'll go on and on and on about root rot. But what people don't tell you is that root rot is caused from poor oxygenation to your plant. It's not caused because you over watered your plant. It's lack of oxygen to your roots. Um, and that's from like a too compact of a soil. So just like the more aeration, the better. You just have to find a happy medium of what works in your environment because um, also the more aeration that you add lots of times, the more you have to water because Obviously, if you're using like a really chunky mix for soil, then um, it only retains, you know, so much water and then it stops. And then same thing with like semi-hydro is that you might have to uh, water more frequently because the added aeration has um, made it easier for your water to just um, evaporate, um, which helps with humidity, but it does not help you with your actual watering because that's an added chore and more time that you have to put into your collection. So this is perfect. Cute little gray pot with my green and then the top layer is mostly pond, and I just do that for aesthetic reasons because, like, it doesn't really matter up top because that's not where your roots are going to be. But it was, like, super chunky with that chunky perlite, more leka, and then more pond on top of all that. So, then all you have to do is add water. Okay, guys, so I just mixed some fertilizer water up. And I am going to just put this in here. Um, if you are rooting like cuttings, I would say be heavier handed on your water. Like you want to put your water up towards the top of your um, reservoir because you don't have any roots and you're encouraging roots to grow but this plant had good roots so we're just going to go with the normal about one third of the way up um for root growth or not for root growth just for fertilizing the plant um and the reason why I really like to transition my plants into clear containers which I know this isn't clear, but like I can just lift this net pot up and look at the roots anytime I want. Um, is because I can just, like I said, look at the roots anytime I want. You can still use this method without clear pots, but I'll say if you're just starting out um, collecting, um, I know that some of the costs seem a little aggravating, but I feel like in the beginning, I wasted more money buying random stuff constantly. And then finding out a year later that I don't really love that random stuff that I bought. And wish that I would have bought like more uniform like things from the beginning. Just like the clear pots. So, I mean, up to you. It's just a personal preference. But I like to use those. Um... The next important thing related to this particular plant is that I'm going to blast it with some light. Um, I know that this particular alocasia, 
um, can do good in lots of different light settings. But I think it's important after a transition to um, give your plant a lot of light. And uh, that's what we're going to do with this particular Alocasia Friday. Um, I love this plant. I always wanted a regular Friday, and then I got my hands on a variegated version first. But um, I like how big that these get. Like, they just grow. So, I'm hoping to get this into like a nice mature plant. And um, I'll show you guys where we end up sticking it for it to transition. Okay, guys. So, it's December the 13th now. This is the only leaf that I have left. The bigger leaf that I had ended up, you see like the kind of yellowing that's like going on on the edges. The bigger leaf had that. And so I cut it off um, after it had given me my new leaf, which is looking really good. I'm happy with the color. And now it's pushing this second leaf since the transition. So this leaf happened after the semi-hydro transition. And now this leaf is happening after the semi-hydro transition. Um, it's still in the same setup that you guys saw about seven weeks ago. And for now, I'm leaving this leaf on here. But eventually, I do plan on removing this leaf as well. Um, it's the last soil leaf that this plant has. And then I'll be doing my Micliatiana or my green product. Um, just from the semi-hydro leaves, which will be these two. So, this has been a successful transition. My plants are growing, and um, it has a good root system. It, I would lift that up and show you, but, like, the roots aren't, like, out of it, like, through the bottom. It's just, like, all still in the pond. So, I still think it has a good ways to go. Um, but I can go ahead and say that this has been a successful transition just because I have like a healthy growing plant um, post transition um, and I will keep you guys updated in future videos okay guys that's it um, I will keep you updated on how this plant is doing you guys can leave me any comments that you have for me in the comments below and I'll get back to you guys um, if you made it to the end of the video Let's go ahead and leave a, um, I don't know what kind of emoji to do. We did Christmas emojis last time already, even though it's still Christmas, which is why I'm sitting in front of my tree. Um, let's do like a brown emoji, anything that's like heavily brown. So just leave the emoji in the, um, comment section as well. Um, if you guys made it to the end of the video i also wanted to let you know that i plan on doing a giveaway for um the 400 members if we can get there i will be given a cutting of my syngonium aria and just to qualify for the giveaway i need you to subscribe to my channel and then follow me on instagram and then um, scroll down to my Instagram and leave a comment on my Syngonium Aria picture. I'm going to put the picture here so you guys know which one I'm talking about. And I really appreciate you guys watching. And thanks for coming to Kentucky Blank Daddy.